Hi, this is Miniature Model Paul with a update on the turrets of the uh, HMS Nelson 1 200 scale. And as you can see, I've got all the PE that I can put on there at the moment. This is the, all the bits that, are, that can go on there. These cabinets will go into the middle of that turret there, and that gives you the cabinets that the doors facing outwards. The actual gun emplacements are in the spray booth, and they're ready to be sprayed. And these will be taken in there as well and given a spray as well after I've done that. So, and then I've got to basically go, go forward and uh, hand paint the um, dark grey on top of the turret. And the reason I'm doing a, a, a dark grey is because, uh, by, and by hand, is because it, it, I can thin the brake paint quite quickly. It'd be life colour, it'd be an acrylic paint. Paint it over there, and you normally get one coat. If I have to do two, I do. And it will still, still show all the details, but I see. It's taken me ages. I mean, even doing these, there's a ram rail there all the way around the front and one running around the side. That one weren't too bad. It still took a while, as you can see. And ham rail running across this turret. I don't know if you can see that a little bit better if I do it that way. Yeah, you can. You can see the ham rails there that go to the front. And also the steps going up the side, one side of the turret. And then the, the, these bits here are like trackways. They're walkways that obviously stop them slipping. Because there's so many turrets around here, that still goes across here, and I had to take and remove and push down the actual uh, runs that are actually covering the holes. I wouldn't have got the, the actual turrets in place. I've actually thinned the actual pegs down on the, the turrets. That, that each one of the gun bays, there's six in total on this turret, and there's obviously it's easier that one. It's just got one main gun in the middle, so that's a straightforward one. Got the little photo etch cranes on the back. I don't know if I, if I turn it slightly, you might see. There you can see them, but they're little looks on the back. Um, quite pleased with that. Put all the doors and shutters that are on at, on each each of the wings. I think that's uh, ranging equipment that's on the side, and that's done. So yeah, I'm, it's quite slow because it's PE. It takes a long time. And I made a what I now well, I can say that I make you might be able to see it. But if I point to over here, on this this bit box here was I think I mentioned it to Ron. I actually put it the wrong way around. So I filled these two holes here, because I was using a photo edge anyway, filled these two holes there, and basically used my uh, Tamiya a plastic filler. I dropped it in, left it for about three hours, come upstairs, sand it off, and it's as smooth as a, a baby's bottom, as I used to say in the old days. And it's all done, and then I glued these two bits on. Now I've got, th there was three bits, three circles on this side, close together, very small circles and I had to cut them off and I was going to use them again but but they was damaged so I'm going to get my old punch out later on and put them three on the back of the turret on the back of the boxes that's where it is I think they're like ventilators most probably but they were only just plastic circles I'm going to put those on uh, uh, to finish the details off on that so and I've got one or two boxes and if I bring the instruction destructions as I call it because this is there's one or two boxes on this one there's a two I've, I've just oops there it is they're the ones I've done, these ones here. I've actually done those, that's okay. Um, I used, didn't use the plastic part, I used the photo etch, as you can see there, it's photo etch. A lot, a lot finer as well. And uh, when you come to this turret, as you can see, this one, it's just it's got a box, that, uh, not that box, but it, that, that's already been put on. This one box goes over here, but on the P instructions, another one on the other side, so I will be doing that. And I'll be using the photo etch top on for that, so this goes. These guns, whoops, let's get it out. These guns here, all made up with uh, brass and photo etch parts so and the gun on the gun so I'll be doing that but and I may build these six just six up so it makes it a bit uh, uh, not so laborious as to do the 62 that have got to be done make these three up just for these actual tubs once it's done so yeah and this bit was a photo etch part and I use the uh, one from the uh, MK one but it is a same part as in what's name so so the turret roofs are all smoothed off and I think you might have seen that's all smoothed off and and the actual uh, all the brass was put on there now I use use um crocodile underneath crocodile um how was it called um gator glue sorry that's it I think it was nearly a crocodile a gator glue underneath these turret brass bits but what i did do is then run around the edges with it with super glue and sealed it in that way so i've got the 
got a bit of both there super glue holding it uh, and, uh, and white glue so yep quite chuffed with the way the photo etch went uh, not too bad at all and it looks the part that's the main thing so what I'm going to do these haven't been bought, uh, glued on top yet they're still loose because what I want to do is put a weight like I mentioned earlier this one here believe it or not I think once you put the guns on these bits it would actually stay put but I'm gonna, I've got some was going to put some um, bits of metal in here and I'm going to do that now I'm going to use um, some um, oh, what do they call them um, ship ship nuts to, just to, to super glue in there to, to, to balance off this I'll weigh these like I said I, w I w could do I've already weighed them earlier on and but what I would do is put a similar equivalent uh, weight inside now my turrets won't be turning on the ship I'll most probably be gluing it down so I most probably don't really need to do that but, but while it's sitting around I need to have them level so there you go so that's really as far as I've got so far I'm going back in to finish the other boxes so they can all be sprayed at the same time uh, along with the turrets as well once I've glued, done those nuts inside so that must be tomorrow's job I've got something else I've got to do in a minute so I should be doing that I'll just be uploading this video and uh, then um, having a little bit relax so thank you very much for watching this little short video and uh, I think uh, they look quite the part at the moment and of course once you get the paint on it it be straightforward and away we go with the old airbrush so thank you very much for watching and uh, as I just said, did make a mistake there, so it's easy to do because I was cleaning it all off anyway and sanding it back, it worked out okay. I have had a few problems on PE ladders, and what I've done is I've prized them off, uh, cleaned up the, the joints, and took burnt the um, burnt the old um, with my fluid lighter. Here we go. There we go. I got these for twelve ninety nine on uh, Amazon, believe it or not, and I got two of them in a box, and they were twelve ninety nine. So, and that's delivery as well, as, and it's brilliant. So I bought <laughs> I bought uh, two boxes, so I've got I've got a, no problem with lighters uh, disappearing because my other lighter just didn't last like five minutes. So anyway, and that's got a lovely flame on it as well. So thank you very much for watching, and. Um, Carry on as you are, Ron, basically, because you're doing a great job on yours. And, and like you said, if all the time you're still enjoying it, and that's what it's all about. And But I've made mistakes and had to, uh, to, to compromise, and I've definitely had to compromise on that bit there as well, even though it's going to look the part anyway. So that's what it was all after. So here we go then. So I'm going to get back on to my relaxing now. <clears throat> I'm going to play a couple of games of World of Tanks, I think. It's sort of relaxing sometimes. You get all tense in that game. So here we go then. Thank you very much for watching again and I'll see you on the next update. Happy modelling!